What's up my people, it's your girl Angie and I am back with another video. Have you heard about black rice water for hair growth? Well I didn't either until I received a comment on one of my recent videos asking me to try it. So here we are. <laughs> So I went ahead and did my research and I was very convinced that I needed to try this for my hair. Now um, regular rice increases shine, strengthens hair and increases growth um, when used consistently but black rice water is way better because it's um, generally better for your health and also your body. Now. Black rice water has antioxidants that are six times higher than regular rice or brown rice or any other rice which sets it apart and it's a great source of protein and iron. Among a ton of other benefits, black rice is a rich source of anthocyanin which is a top type of antioxidant plus it's rich in vitamin E and it's a great natural detoxifier and a good source of fiber. Of all the ways to prepare rice water for hair, the fermented way is definitely much better and more beneficial for your hair because this way you're not losing any properties, you're not losing any proteins or goodness whatsoever as opposed to what happens when you do it the boiled way. Let me show you how I prepared my rice water. Now these are the things that I'll be needing. I need a um, measuring jug, cup or um, spoons, I need a bowl, I need a um, jar or whatever you'll need to store your water in. Now I'm starting with um, a half a cup of rice of black rice and I'm just adding it to my bowl and then I'll add in some water and then I'll be rinsing it out just to take away or to get rid of any dirt or impurities. As I wash my rice, as you can see, the water becomes a bit tinted, uh, it has this uh, like purplish tint to it. Now this will definitely depend on the um, brand of rice that you get because you might find that some rice will be cleaner than others. So I've just finished rinsing my rice and I'm just placing it in my jar. I am using a um, half a cup of rice to two cups of water. So I'm just going to add my water and then close my jar up and I'll be storing it in room temperature for 48 hours. You can do this for 24 hours, it's up to you. But I am leaving mine for 48 hours and this will just allow the rice to kind of um, ferment in the water and then I'll show you guys what happens after 48 hours of storage. So this is the rice that I am using. Um, black rice is not um, easy to find. If you do find it in your regular supermarket it would be placed in maybe together with all the superfoods or if you don't find it in your supermarket you could find it in a specialty store. 48 hours and we are back. <laughs> So this is um, how my rice water looks after 48 hours of being hidden away. Um, yeah, the water is like it doesn't look black. Um, it looks a bit more purple. You can't really tell from the camera. But I'm just going in now to strain my, uh, my water from the rice. So as you can see, I'm just um, removing the water from the rice and that's what I'll be working with. 
I'm not really sure what you can use the strained rice for. Maybe you can use it for your compost bin if you have a garden or a, veg a veggie patch somewhere outside. You can definitely use that to fertilize um, the ground. Other than that, I'm not sure what else you can use it for. So to see how well rice water or black rice water is going to work for my hair, I am setting myself a challenge and uh, to be accountable, <laughs> um, I am measuring my hair before. So I'm going to do a one month challenge, black rice water challenge. So I'm just measuring um, the three part, oh, four parts, well, the front, the sides and the back of my hair just to begin with so that I'll come back after one month of using rice water regularly at least every two days. Um, so I'll come back in a month or in 30 days time to show you guys the progress. Um, the front of my hair is measuring at 13 inches and yeah i may or may not be measuring my hair correctly please don't judge me but that's okay i am just trying to get a rough estimate of my hair so that i know roughly how long my hair is and then i'll be back in a month's time to show you guys progress of how or whether or not my hair has grown using um, black rice water Both sides of my hair, both the left and the right ear, surprisingly, <laughs> also measured at 13 inches. I was shocked. I had no idea. I thought maybe some parts of my hair would be longer than others, but both the sides, the front and the back measured at 13 inches. Fermented rice water has um, an extreme, an extremely high concentration of vitamins and minerals, so um, it's best to dilute it if you're going to use it everywhere or all over your hair. But I am choosing not to. I'm just using it as it is. But um, as you can see, I am just going in for the roots. I'm just going in for the roots um, because I noticed when using regular rice water when i used it all over my hair um, all over the strands of my hair my hair felt um, although very soft but over time it felt a bit weak and brittle so right now i'm just um, concentrating on the roots of my hair because that's where <laughs> that's where the growth happens so yeah this is how i'll be using rice water at least every two days um, for 30 days and I'll be back I'll be back <laughs> I'll be back guys um, I swear I'm a person who swears by rice water because it's worked for me in the past so if black rice water is meant to be better than regular rice water which I've used then I am expecting or fingers crossed I hope the growth is going to be extreme <laughs> okay let me not put my hopes too high but I hope things will work or at least something will happen <laughs> in my hair so yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in and uh, let me know what you think if you're going to try this or if you've tried this but let me know what you think in the comment section below and if you find this video helpful please be sure to share it around and also subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye